Uh, we now have two nights in a row from uh, the Republicans at their convention in which they've spent a lot of time talking about John McCain's biography. They've spent a lot of time talking about me, not in particularly truthful terms, uh, but haven't spent any time talking about the problems that ordinary Americans are going through every single day. Not a word about how we're going to make college more affordable, how we're going to create more jobs here in the United States. Not a word about how to increase people's incomes. Uh, now, I understand they don't have much of an agenda to run on, uh, but you know, I think that the American people deserve better uh, than to get the same old uh, vitriol and, and slash and burn politics that we've been seeing over the last couple of days. Uh, we are going to tell the American people exactly what I and Joe Biden and the Obama administration intend to do to make their lives better. Uh, and uh, I'd hope at some point that the Republicans decide to engage in that debate. Let me open it up for a few questions. Dane? Republicans have spent uh, considerable time ridiculing your experience as a community organizer. I wonder what your reaction is to that, but also how is community organizing relevant experience for the presidency? This is very curious. So this is work I did three years ago. They haven't talked about the fact that I was a civil rights lawyer. They haven't talked about the fact that I taught constitutional law. They haven't talked about my work in the state legislature, the United States Senate. They're talking about the three years of work that I did right out of college, as if that's I'm making the leap from uh, two or three years out of college into the presidency. So, look, uh, I would argue that doing work in the community to try to create jobs, to bring people together, to uh, rejuvenate communities that had fallen on hard times, to set up job training programs in areas that uh, had been hard hit when the steel plants closed, that that's relevant only in understanding uh, where I'm coming from, who I believe in, who I'm fighting for, and why I'm in this race. Uh, and the question I have for them is, uh, why would that kind of work be ridiculous? Who are they fighting for? What are they advocating for? Do they think that the lives of those folks who are struggling each and every day, that working with them to try to improve their lives is somehow uh, not relevant to the presidency? I think maybe that's the problem. That's part of why they're out of touch and they don't get it, because they haven't spent much time working on behalf of those folks. Have you, there's been a lot of uh, pushback from Republicans that a lot of the coverage from the media and also response from Democrats, including from your campaign, has uh, to Governor Palin's appointment, has been sexist, that it's been dismissive of the work she's done and it has uh, acted in ways that they would not deal with a male running mate. Do you have any response? Uh, listen, uh, I mean, if they want to work the refs, they are free to do so. Uh, and I think the public can make their judgments about this. Uh, you know, the notion that uh, any questions about her work uh, in Alaska uh, is somehow not relevant to uh, her potentially being vice president of the United States doesn't uh, make too much sense to me. Uh, I think she's got a compelling story, uh, but I assume that she wants to be treated the same way that guys want to be treated, which means that their records are uh, under scrutiny. I've been through this for 19 months. She's been through it, what, four days so far? Senator, some Democrats have expressed concern that your campaign and you specifically are not engaging her enough and criticizing her enough. Um, is that a, a concern of yours, or why are you taking sort of a hands-off approach and focus on, focusing on Senator McCain? John McCain's running for president. I'm running against John McCain. And as far as I can tell, I don't get a sense that uh, Governor Palin has ideas that are different from John McCain's. And that speech that she delivered was on behalf of John McCain. And the essential question in this campaign is, who's got a better plan, a better agenda, to move this country forward and fundamentally change it from uh, the, uh, the economic and foreign policy failures that we've seen over the last eight years? And I believe that the American people need change, they want change, and I'm in the best position to bring it uh, on, on a whole host of issues from energy to health care to education. Uh, and if at some point uh, Senator, uh, Senator McCain uh, is, actually addresses those issues, 
then I think that's going to be a useful debate for the American people to listen to. How did you change at all now that uh, after not only Governor Palin, but also Giuliani, several other speakers sort of went on the attack? Does your strategy change? Do you have to go more on the attack now? I mean, what do you guys expect? <laughs> Right. I mean, I, I anticipated this last Thursday in my acceptance speech. This is what they do. They don't have an agenda to run on. They haven't offered a single concrete idea so far in two nights about how they would make the lives of middle class Americans better. They've spent the entire two nights attacking me or uh, extolling uh, John McCain's biography, which is fine. That's they can use their convention time any way they want. but. Yeah, I, uh, you can't expect that I'd be surprised about attacks from Republicans. I, and by the way, I mean, I, you know, I've been called worse on the basketball court. It's not that big of a deal. Thank you. Can I, thank you. Were you surprised by the choice of Palin? And does it change the way that you look at the race at all, given it's such an unconventional choice? Uh, you know, I think ultimately this race is going to be about myself and John McCain and who's in a better position to lead the country uh, to make sure that young people can go to college, people who don't have health care get it, that we're creating jobs here in the United States that pay well and that provide decent benefits and people can retire with dignity and respect and that we can keep the American people safe uh, and rebuild our standing in the world. That's what this election is going to be about. And you know, ultimately, all I can say is I'm very proud of my pick, Joe Biden, and I am absolutely confident that he's going to be able to help me govern. Uh, in a very effective way, uh, uh, should I have the honor of being president? All right. Thank you. All right, guys.